So I've got some very big news today about Cyberpunk, and yes, it is official news. I know a lot of us were expecting a third person perspective for Cyberpunk, considering that yes, we already got that with The Witcher 3, so that's what we were hoping for. Well, check this out, everyone. Today, this was discovered. It says, interesting new job descriptions for Cyberpunk, third person camera programmer and multiplayer programmer. I'm gonna talk about multiplayer stuff in just a moment, but we're gonna focus in on this third person perspective because it is by far one of the most highly requested features for Cyberpunk and would be amazing to see in the future for this game. But also we're gonna talk about that unannounced project. Yeah, we know about The Witcher 4, but there's still something in the job listings that's described as unannounced project. Well, guess what? It looks like we're getting even more Cyberpunk, even beyond what's being worked with the other studio, Molasses Flood, it looks like there's something else being developed for Cyberpunk. I'll talk about that in just a moment. But we got to go right here, first and foremost, to CD Projekt Red Vancouver job listings. We've got AI programmer, but this sticks out. Camera programmer right here. And let's get into this job listing a little bit more and find out more about it. Now, it says right here, CD Projekt Red Vancouver is looking for a programmer with experience in developing real-time third person perspective cameras. This is really important, the word real time, because I was a little bit worried that it might just be for like cinematics and things like that. But yeah, it seems like they are wanting to develop a full blown third person camera perspective for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if we go back to the Vancouver job listing page here, we can see under here, of course, environmental artist, game program, lighting artist, but multiplayer programmer, and they are also going to be assisting with multiplayer in some way. Now, the big question that I am wondering, of course, is are they developing the third person perspective exclusively for multiplayer? I don't think so. I think if they were able to make third person work in cyberpunk environment, they would, of course, add that to the vanilla based game. That's just my assumption. I think that would make the most sense. And I think a lot of people would be kind of upset more than upset if third person was limited to multiplayer but we'll have to wait and find out what's going on precisely with the third person perspective being added to the game so it seems like though it is officially going to be happening at some point hopefully within the next year or so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that hopefully in time for the big expansion as well that would be absolutely huge wouldn't it uh so also we have this one that was posted out here by fighter fps he tagged me on twitter by the way if you guys discover anything please tag me on twitter uh message me wherever i have all my social media account information in the description but thank you to fighter fps for this one he goes on to say this hey did you see this cd product red changed the recruitment site they're hiring for a new unannounced game and it's not the witcher 4 like the one on the second screenshot it's probably for the new cyberpunk 2 game so it's in pre-production. Yeah, so we gotta investigate this ourselves. I went to the unannounced project tab in the job listings. As you can see right here, we have two jobs listed, 3D head modeler, and then senior gameplay animator. Now I did go under the first one here and it didn't mention anything about Cyberpunk for the 3D head animator, but it gets very interesting because the 3D head modeler description here Check it out. It says CD Projekt Red is looking for 3D head modeler who is who would be, excuse me, up for the challenge of creating heads for expanding cyberpunk project. So this seems to be like he did say pre-production, perhaps for cyberpunk 2. So that's what I'm assuming. Remember, again, as I have mentioned previously, they are very, very interested in developing, of course, The Witcher alongside, uh, I believe, Cyberpunk 2. It seems like they want to do two AAA games parallel to each other in development, which sounds impossible, sounds crazy, but that's what they want to do. And I think Unreal Engine 5 is also going to be something that will be helping them with this, of course. Uh, so let's keep going, shall we? Now, let's talk about patch 1.6. We have not heard anything about this patch at all, but we have comments here from the community about what you guys would actually like to see please throw down your ideas in the comments down below i really do believe cd project red is tuned into the community right now more than ever before so make your voice heard so here we go 
We have patch 1.6 hopes and dreams. This comes from Victory Fanfares. It says, been playing on my third character on 1.5, and all I can think is how much hope uh, the, how much I hope, excuse me, the next big patch, if there even be one, comes with some significant overhauls to Night City activities and the loot system. I really do think there is going to be one. When? That's, a, that's the big question. Now it says, too many things in this game feel purely, purely vestigial and only there just to be there. The food vendors, for example, who even uses them? You don't even get an animation for a bee eating, so there's no role-playing novelty in vis visiting them. Junk shops might be useful if you spec into crafting, but considering the abundance of loot to dismantle, these also just feel like a huge waste of space. I just want to see these sort of things repurposed so that they'll actually be useful. And if not, then at least contribute to the role play. I agree. I think a lot of this stuff needs more detail, of course, and fully fleshed out. Um, so yeah, they might consider going into detail with uh, this stuff. And I know a lot of you guys want to see more romance options. I wouldn't be surprised if they tapped into all of this, honestly, because they've surprised me time and time again, and they are on a absolute hiring spree right now. And I noticed also for Cyberpunk, they did remove two of the multiplayer job listings. So it seems like they might actually have fulfilled those positions and they're beginning to get busy with developing things. So that's exciting as well. Now we have some, <clears throat> excuse me, very interesting opinions about cyberpunk versus gta so check this out right here it says i know gta is considered the holy grail of open world games but as far as single player campaigns go i think cyberpunk is superior the first 10 hours of cyberpunk are a bit of a slog and borderline overwhelming tutorials aren't the game's strong suit but after that once things really open up i started enjoying it more and more and kept feeling like the game i wish gta 5 would have been the immersive world, story, gameplay, and combat are all better than GTA 5. GTA is better in regards to how the NPCs of the world are populated and react to your actions, but that's really the only nod I give to it. All right, so sound off GTA versus Cyberpunk. This discussion, uh, once again, let me know your opinion down in the comments below. But I, I feel like, of course, Cyberpunk has a ways to go in regards to developing the NPCs, the overall crowd environments. But man, for me, the city, it's the city. Uh, I think that they have an amazing base and eventually they would be able to compete with GTA. I think the story in Cyberpunk is entertaining, but way too short, way, way too short. So yeah, they have a little ways to go to really compete head to head with GTA right now, but I think they're definitely on their way. And that's what excites me. Like we're headed toward Pacifica right now and they can fully flesh out that whole area in the future, make it like a total war zone if they wanted to add survival mechanics, whatever. They could do so many cool things with that. So yeah, we'll see what happens in the future, but I think they're setting themselves up for success. Also, if you did not know, this is really cool. I think we're gonna be seeing another surge of new Cyberpunk players because of this right here. Cyberpunk drops to just $5 for a limited time. That's a pretty great discount. Yes, it is. So if you don't have Cyberpunk and you're watching this video, check it out. I believe that's for physical copies at Best Buy, but I'll throw the links in the description below to that news article if you're interested in that sort of thing. All right, guess what? It is now time for your top comments. Remember to leave a comment down below. It could end up in a future video. You never know. Now, I made a recent video about how you guys are concerned about the future of Cyberpunk and good, for good reason. You know what? CD Projekt Red has gone into radio silence mode once again, not talking about the future of this game. We can only get hints and teases of that through job listings and things but we wanna know officially what's going on with the expansion and things like that. Now, if you missed that video, check it out. But I did wanna say this, with the big expansions release date, a lot of people are wondering that, we would get that release date, I believe three months ahead of that actually releasing. So hopefully we get that release date information here sometime in, I think, I'm gonna take a guess, mid-summer till end of summer. So that's gonna be my assessment there. Now we have Austin who says this, there are so many options uh, they have for expansions. They have the entirety of Pacifica, the cutscene with Jackie, the space heist, heck, there's an entire mega building 
that is quarantined for an unknown reason they could easily do four or more expansions this story right here that mega building that's quarantined that that would be so cool to go in there as the max tech wouldn't that be quite the story in having you know these new survival type mechanics where perhaps you had to have some sort of resistances build up you had to have a survival suit you had to manage it in the mega building i don't know i just think that sort of thing adds another layer to the gameplay that i think would be cool to explore then we have all-star steven who says the following i'd say the best move for an expansion would be to introduce new playable interactive activities throughout the city and use existing mod fixes to the main game file sure a game play and character expansion would be refreshing to go back in, in on but we've seen how quickly main storyline ended a story dlc would only really be short term then we're left here again with an empty city and not much to do that is a very very good point yeah i think they're gonna have to expand and flesh out the current existing city in fact that's what you guys want anytime i mention a new city or something like that there is some excitement don't get me wrong uh, but most of you want to stay in Night City. Most of you want to see all these interiors fully fleshed out. There's so many buildings that can be explored, of course. So yeah, it seems like hopefully they do uh, take notes of what the community wants and really go after fully fleshing out this city. Then we have Jose Rodriguez who says this, I would love to see a prequel DLC we, where we focus, excuse me, on V and Jackie's friendship narrated as a V's v were telling his life story to the atacados or reminiscent before a big gig depending on the ending each player chose that would also be really really cool to see uh tj gilly says well i love the witcher games all of them all of them some people never touched number one cyberpunk was a dream come true to me break my heart if they were to abandon it uh too early yeah uh, you know the next witcher game is so far out that i personally don't think there's any reason to worry about them abandoning cyberpunk so quickly unless of course the biggest fear would be that the first expansion would be a failure then they would start questioning themselves perhaps put more people on uh this next witcher project that would really suck but i don't i hope that doesn't happen we'll see what happens but they have to nail the the first expansion to really have any hope for the future for this franchise of course but you know what does give me hope is they in my opinion they did a great job with patch 1.5 they nailed that down so i think they can possibly pull it off with this next big expansion only time will tell we'll have to wait and see what happens but yeah there it is all the latest happenings around cyberpunk 2077 but to me it looks like we're going to be getting a proper third person perspective for cyberpunk in the future We'll have to wait for like some sort of official announcement about that. But officially, <laughs> there is a job listing for a third person perspective. So that's what we know. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smack that like button if you did. And I will see you all next time. Take care.